of the working Janet. How's it working? Really good. It's right to the edge and in the corners where it hits. Not when, when there's something coming out. When the, when the cover would be in the way, that comes down. But if it's right up to the, to the um, borderline, then it's great. And I have got the, in here I've got the mop head that's got the extra stickies on it to get up, to get up more of the crap on the floor. The multi-surface hole bowl. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I think so. Yep. So it works good on here and it works great on the, and it's what there. It works great on the carpet. It gets, it digs right in. You can, you can hear it. It's picking right onto the remote. Ooh. I love it. Very easy to maneuver. Long lasting nice battery. It's wonderful. Very easy to handle. And why did you buy this one versus any other hand mop? A uh, very good deal and something I could easily maneuver. Lightweight, good warranty, and this old is a good company and she helps also to, to um, let the animals know that they're not alone. Yeah, the Animal Foundation. But due to your mess. What? Due to your mess on the floor, this is like a heavy duty machine. If you had. Could you use this machine for something strong? Uh, yeah. Strong messes? If there was a lot on the ground, on the floor, it would pick it up. Carpet or linoleum. So that water is all gone. Ooh, and there was, all that water was gone, yes, I was seeing that, yes. Yep. Mm. And on the carpet, it puts out twice as much liquid, so that's what you need. And it, it also uh, disaffects it. And, you know, about the easy maneuvering, you don't want something that's cumbersome. You got it to push because that's just too much of a hassle and you want it quick and easy and that docking station that cleans itself oh my goodness sakes thank you it's a woman's a woman's utensil so this would be good for a heavy mess on a on an aluminum and a carpet floor correct oh, yes. I, I believe that I've the case. Yeah. And you have this now for how long? Uh, it's only been um, three months. Three months? Since November. And you use this how often? Once a week? Uh, on the average, yes. But in the, in the inclement weather, Oh, in the winter, you probably have to use it more? Yeah. Especially if you want to keep it looking nice. It's easy to, to take off the docking station, put it back on, let it be stuck, hit it a little bit, and you're done. Nothing cumbersome about it at all. What I have in here right now is just water. I didn't even have four minutes, and it's, it's getting it nice and clean. Not shiny clean, but it's getting it clean. I can see the difference. Yes. And I've got it on the low formula setting, so it's great. And it has a little light if you need more light. Aww. LED light. 
Yes. And that puts out a little bit more liquid, and that's great. And as you can see, we have a few cats, so that's why we got this. It helps clean up the mess. And actually, I can tell, you can see the shine already here in the carpet. And sanitizing, that's a big thing when you've got animals. Not that they're dirty, but you know what? Maybe people think they are, and I'm sure they can think that, but there's people that are dirty too. You know, I mean, that's just the way it is. Alright, and that's Janet's take on the Bissell Crosswaves.